Greens one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well, moving right along in our learn to cook uh, videos. I'm actually doing meal prep uh, for the coming week's lunches, because today is Sunday, my day off, only day off this week, because uh, I worked yesterday, but you know, gotta eat. So I'm gonna be making um, chicken Caesar salad, but I thought I would go over the meal prep and um, whatnot, so you can kind of get an idea what I'm going to do, I'm going to be baking up a batch of chicken to, to use during the week. So I'd show you that, show you the prep, and then uh, show you the final product when it's done. So I actually already bought um, the dressing and I got some croutons for the salad. I'm going to do salads for the next few days, probably three or four days. Cause, and Caesar salad is my favorite anyway, so it's not, it's easy to make and it's, it's, it's nice to eat when it's actually something that you enjoy. So let's get to it. Okay, so I picked this up today at the store. Uh, we have a store here in the Pacific Northwest called Fred Meyer. It's a Kroger brand, but uh, this whole container of chicken was $10.01. Now if you go to a restaurant and you bought a Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad, it probably cost you $17. So I have What's the weight on this? 2.64 pounds at seven, uh, three, nine, uh, 79 a pound. So I've also got something I just found today too. It's uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Garlic Parmesan Sauce and Marinade, which sounds awesome. I actually happen to really love garlic Parmesan. It's a great, great flavor. Just the smell. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells awesome. I love garlic parmesan. So good. All right, let's get All busy. Right. So I want to open this up. So what I want to do is I want to go through each one of these, as I've done with other videos, and just trim off all the uh the extra fat they had chicken breasts too but i think thighs are just a lot more tasty so i'm gonna go through and prep all these i'll just do a couple to show you just, just trim off the extra fat or leave it on it's up to you I tend to trim mine up a little bit. All right, so there we go. Got some uh, some of the fat cut off. Here's everything bagged. I'm gonna wash up. All right, I'll bring you back. So hands are freshly washed, all cleaned up. I want to make sure that I'm not gonna be. Don't cross contaminate. So just try to use one hand for the sauce. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to get raw chicken on my hand and then grab the outside of this because I might not uh, remember to clean the bottle. I do what I do the best I can to not get chicken on my. You know, get not get raw chicken all over my. Um, all over my everything. Raw chicken can make you sick, so you don't want to get, you know, the best to avoid getting any kind of sick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that bottle again until this is uh, so I'm done. I'm just working it around, make sure I get all the dressing and the um, the marinade in the bag. I actually saw a really interesting trick from Steve Ranella. He uh, he has a show on TV called Man Eater. What he does is he marinades his bag, but he does it in a um, vacuum packer, and then he just vacuum packs it because he pushes all the air out, so every every bit of juice is touching. It's a really interesting idea, and I do actually have a vacuum packer. I just never use it. So now that that's done, I'll clean up again, and I'll. Uh, I'll bring it All up. right, so I've got this marinating for about 50 minutes. Well, about 40 minutes. 
just gonna hit it with a little spray just so chicken won't stick to the foil. Of course, you gotta roll up your sleeves for this. Another. Now I left it on just sitting on the counter because it was uh, it was really cold as I was pulling it out. And I'll tell you what, this marinade smells really good. The chicken wings with garlic parmesan is one of my favorite. I have to make chicken wings now. Which I might just do that. Sweet. So we got chicken out. All right, clean so up. Hands are all washed. Always clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt on these. And I've also got some uh, slap your mama white. Give the chicken just a little bit of kick. I like. I like that little bit of, little bit of kick to it. And just because I've got some, I could throw a little extra Parmesan on here. Just to add a little extra flavor. Because why not? Of course, I got a piece of foil here just because when the chicken comes out, I can just throw the foil away and not have to wash the pan. Or the pan will be easier to Alrighty. clean. Alrighty. 375 degree oven. We're gonna put that in there for 25 minutes. Alright, let's check this chicken out. The smell in here is really good. Which way it smell too. Okay. A lot of liquid. Alright. Give this stuff a quick temp check. Well, that's done. Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. I mean, they shrink quite a bit. Look at this piece right here that fell off. I'm so going to eat that little piece. Alright, I got to try this chicken. Oh man. Mmm. Wow, that's flavorful. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to get all this. It's still hot, but I want to get it up all up out of the liquid. So I'm just going to get this tray here and. Lift it up all. And let that just drain and rest. And I poked a little hole in my pan, but I should be okay. Alrighty, so it's been the next day. Chicken's all prepped. I got a piece of bread in the oven, and I'm gonna be making my Caesar salad. And then uh, dinner tonight is gonna be one of these Premier proteins. I'll just drink it at work. Got two in the refrigerator already, so I get the, the salad prepped and get it ready. All right, so I got yeah. my romaine, which I've shown on videos several times. I just break them up by hand, give them a good wash. You always want to wash your greens because you know romaine is literally grown in dirt, so like a lot of leafy vegetables, and they don't want you know it's hard to get clean down into the stems when they're all together. So that's why I always give them an extra washing. And then I always break mine up. I just break mine by hand. I don't I don't slice it or cut it. Allows me a little bit more control 
Now, when you buy the bagged um, Caesar salad mix, they always include these stems, which I don't really enjoy. So I just rip around them. And then I'll just pull these all apart, as big or as small as you'd like. Allow me to get down to the bottom here. And that's that's all basically all I waste. Which, you know, I made comment, I wish I had rabbits or something, I would just throw it to them, or chickens. Right. But I don't have all done. Got the stems all pitched in the garbage. I don't enjoy eating them. Get yourself a salad spinner. It's a great way to get rid of all the extra moisture in your, uh, in your greens. See that? And all the water left over. Let's we'll get a piece of bread in here. Right there. Yum. So I've got my yesterday's chicken. I just moved it to a plate. Make sure it's cold before you put it in the refrigerator or before you put saran wrap over the top so you're not going to be um, so it won't sweat in there because I'm just I guess I'll just go with these two smaller pieces here by the way with this chicken you could throw it in some ramen you could throw it in some pasta you could throw it in um, the mac and cheese that I showed you. Lots of uses for chicken. Alright, so. so call me crazy, but I like grape tomatoes in my salad. A little bit of a... This is um... Shut three uh, uh, cheese blood. I don't know if that's going to focus. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Anyway, it's uh, Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. It was on sale. So I grabbed it. So in my opinion, no salad is a salad without... Uh, no Caesar salad is a salad without some croutons. Now, I'm trying not to put too many in because I'm also going to be eating uh, this buttery piece of warm bread. And then I'll just add some dressing. And then of course, I put black pepper pretty much on everything. A few cracks. And the um, The dressing, by the way, is uh, Newman's own, come on camera, focus, Cre uh, Creamy Caesar. I like what they stand for. I like that the profits all go to charity. Plus, a lot of the stuff they make is uh, pretty darn good. Looks like it's well coated. All right, Clean I also up. got a little bit of lemon here. This is just a chunk I cut off. I was going to, excuse me, squeeze it over the... Um, Chicken All right, there you forgot. go. It's not a huge salad, but it'll be filling. Oh man, that, uh, that lettuce really lightens everything up. Oh, the uh, lemon. Mm. Hell yeah. And of course we got the uh, the bread too, which is just slathered in butter. Mm. Alrighty, well, needless to say, cleaned it out. Delicious. Which is easy to enjoy because uh, 
I do enjoy the Caesar salads. You know, like I said, it's one of my favorite. I have one more thing to show you tomorrow to wrap this video up, but then, um, yeah, so here we go. Well, I guess I'll, I'll see you in a okay, moment. So the final thing I forgot to show you is these two containers. If you have restaurant supply stores, you can uh, buy these by the bulk. And what they are is a wax lined uh, to go containers because these are great for pasta, like uh, pastas that you would um, stain your Tupperware. And uh, I've also carried you know, small ones too. They have different sizes, but you know, these are great for like small salads and stuff. And the beauty part is I don't have to wash these. All you got to do is you fold them up, put the lid, you know, put the lids together, and uh, you can just throw them away when you're done, and they're microwave safe. All right, so that's what they look like. You know, basically wrapped up. You just pop them in the microwave and just heat them up. Yeah, I guess you could say they're a little wasteful, but you know, you don't want to stand there washing them either. You just grab a disposable fork, heat them up, eat the food, throw the container away. It's money.